Hey everybody, I'm Mike. This is Kinderhook Woodcraft and today I'm going to show you how I used a ticking stick to fit shelves into an irregular space. I'm remodeling this bathroom and this space right here was just kind of weird. There were wire shelves in there and this partition wall really cramped up the room. So I took out part of the wall and I'm putting in floating shelves there. I also recessed the medicine cabinet behind this mirror, but that's for another video. For this application I can't really use the more familiar method of scribing because the blank would have to be bigger than the space it's supposed to go in. Since this space is enclosed on three sides, I need an alternate method. The left corner is more or less square. The right corner is not, and the partition wall is not flat. There's almost always a little hollow in the middle of a short partition wall like this. It comes from the extra buildup of joint compound where the drywall tape and corner bead are. I would have been better off skimming this flat, but it would have taken a lot more time and a lot more mud. This is a piece I very roughly sketched out, relying mostly on my ruler. I didn't like the odds of getting all five of these shelves to fit well enough, so I'm going to use a method that I learned from Christopher Schwarz. And by the way, if you're into woodworking and don't recognize that name, I recommend you look him up. He's been my biggest influence over the last 20 years and is responsible for probably 80% of what I know about woodworking. Anyway, this is something I wanted to try ever since I saw it, and now's my chance. I'm using this piece of cardboard to record the story my ticking stick tells about the shape of this space. I should mention that I only used the ticking stick to make a template. Then I used the template in conjunction with a piece of Luan to fit the rest of the shelves. You'll see how in a few minutes. And what I'm going to do is place it on the cardboard with its point against the wall in various positions and trace its shape on the cardboard. My cardboard isn't square, so I marked the two places where it touches the wall. I could have made it square, but it didn't really need to be. There will be some tweaking and finessing of the whole perimeter of the shelf anyway. The two points I marked are my primary reference points. I lay my stick down with its point on one of the reference arrows and trace its shape. Then I move the stick to the next reference point and trace it again. And of course I want to know exactly where this corner is. Now it's just a matter of placing the point of the stick in multiple positions around the space, tracing it as I go. The more positions I record, the more accurate my shape will be when I transfer it to my shelf blank. However, the more positions I record, the more cluttered with lines the cardboard will be. To keep the lines from getting too confusing, since this stick is kind of goofy and big, I didn't trace all the way around it, just the one edge with the S-curve and the notch. Now it's time to make the template. I'll take a bigger piece of cardboard and reverse this process. I made reference lines with my framing square on this bigger piece to represent the edges of the shelf blank and put the cardboard with my readings on top of it with the two reference points touching the lines I drew with the framing square. From here I can just start laying the ticking stick back down wherever I traced its shape and mark the places the stick points to. I just poked holes with my pencil, connected the dots, and cut out the template. This one fits really well, so I'll use it for the first shelf. Here's my shelf blank and I've traced my template around it. Then I'll score the curved edge so it doesn't splinter up and cut right up to my line. I'm cutting it right here just to reduce its size a little bit.
Some of you may be horrified by what I'm doing right here, but these are cheap planes and this is something they're perfect for. And yes, I had a couple rounds of sharpening during this process. I'm trying to do two things here. I'm planing to my line and I'm also beveling the edges slightly. I can't slide these shelves into position because of their irregular shape. I have to pivot them into position. And since the fit is tight, this couldn't be done if I left the edges square. I'll use the pattern in conjunction with a scrap piece of Luan to scrap in the rest of the shelves. I use spacers to hold the template in place, lay the piece of Luan on top of the template, and scrap the Luan. Then I mark the Luan's position on the template and use them together to trace my next shelf blank. I could use a ticking stick to do all of them, but my template was very close in almost every shelf position, and I decided it would be a bit faster to fit the rest of them like this. This process went very quickly and yielded great results. I did my best to explain this, but I wonder if there was something I forgot to say. If you have any questions, please let me know and I'll be happy to help you understand it better. Thanks for watching, folks. I do appreciate the time you spend with me, and I hope you're having a good day.